Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I asked you guys on Instagram, <laughs> I said, what do you guys want to see, uh, you know, as my first video coming back on YouTube, it's been quite a while. And I had the best response. Somebody said, why don't you sit here with like a glass of champagne, relax, hang out, and just answer questions. And I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. So I asked you guys on Instagram for all questions. the questions you could possibly <laughs> ask me, and we wrote down a ton. Yeah, a so a lot of you guys said you wanted my boyfriend, Brandon, to be involved in this video. So he's gonna sit here and ask me all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do questions and answers today. You guys will kind of get to know me a little bit more, and then We'll get back into the skincare and beauty and all of that stuff. But I thought this was like a really fun idea to kind of like, it's a great idea. you know, get back into YouTube and just, I, it's it's been a while. So we have our champagne here. Yep. We are hanging out. We're cheersing to Skin Truth, the launch of SkinTruth.com. Oh, I, I went in. Sorry. <laughs> That's usually my move, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to sit here with our champagne and answer all of your guys' questions. All right. So. Welcome to Bamboozle. <laughs> I'm your host, Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Wicka Wango. Wicka Wango. You want to climb the tree of doubt? <laughs> all, right. all right. We're a little friends obsessed. Okay. okay. All right. So okay. I, got, I got a okay. lot of questions Just start. here. This is all your guys' questions. Yep. Start we could have write them all down, but a brown We have a lot. The, the best ones. I got so, so many questions. So we just, I, there was a lot of like similar ones. So I just wrote down a ton of questions. Okay. okay. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Let's start with the good stuff. Okay. How much do you love Brandon? <laughs> So much. It wasn't written down. <laughs> now you got sticky. See, you hate when I have my sticky gloss on. Sorry, it looks okay. good in the video. <laughs> what is the best affordable, affordable medical grade skincare brand? What's the most affordable? The best and most affordable, I would say, is Sanita's. Sanita's was Ben Fuchs' first skincare line. You know Ben Fuchs. Yeah, I didn't know of that. Of Truth Treatments. That was his very first line. Hmm. And Sanita's is bomb. Sanita's products are so, so good. For honestly, for medical grade, they are insanely reasonably priced. They are cheaper than Sephora brands, department store brands are cheaper than, and they work so, so good. So 100%, if you're looking to get into medical grade skincare products and you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, Sanita Skincare is the way to go. I'm in the middle of a divorce. It's been one year with no end in sight. Any advice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, I've totally been there at the one year mark and no end in sight so i definitely feel you it's such a painful painful process um i don't know honestly what has happened to our legal system honestly i have no idea Terrible. because i feel like divorces nowadays take so long to finalize and to finish and i feel like that should not be the case like it i don't know quick it should not be it should be like think so about it, it took like, me you want to be out of that mm -hmm. either one of you wants out of it right and all of a sudden it's like let's make this two years yeah so mine like literally took two money. years and yeah. a lot of lawyer bills and i feel like that's the whole thing i feel like lawyers are just like lawyers win eating up all of yeah so i would say hang in there um there is an end in sight and you will get there stay positive stay true to yourself and just know that you know you divorce for a reason and you just have to get through it and just keep going and keep going. And if they're trying to battle you at every little step, which is what I had to deal with, um, and then just, you can't let the other person win. You just have to fight for what's right and fight for, you know, the end and the end will come. So I completely know what you're talking about. Cause I literally felt like, and I have said to him over the past few years, I'm like, this is never ever gonna end and I know how it feels when you feel like there's no end in sight but trust me the end is in sight and I this is my biggest piece of advice to be honest is find the right lawyer because I had to go through multiple lawyers um Three. yeah to be able yeah. to a lot of lawyers that I had were good divorce lawyers but they just couldn't keep up with what I was dealing with and I had to get rid of them and then it was only until I found the right lawyer did he put a stop to it and that's when everything became finalized so to be honest I would say make sure you have the right lawyer because when you have the right lawyer the divorce process is way easier yeah, for sure better. I'm gonna try to say this properly <laughs> okay hyaluronic acid serum <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this favorite hyaluronic acid serum <laughs> oh that's a tough one I would say the truth treatments um hyaluronic uh, I would say that Truth Treatment's hyaluronic, and I would say the Skin Medica HI5. Those two are my absolute, absolute favorites. Okay. How much filler do you have under your eyes? Looks puffier. 
<laughs> that, and that's actually really funny because I have zero filler under my eyes, like zero. And it's funny because I was literally just not that long ago saying to Brandon, I was like, after this entire, like going through so much stress and just the insanity of my last two years, I literally said to him the other day or the other week, I was like, God, I feel like I just look so old all of a sudden. Like, I feel like, like I'm just falling apart after all the stress. So I literally, so luckily I have friends that are dermatologists. I have friends that are plastic surgeons. So I went to my friend who's a plastic surgeon. She's a facial plastic surgeon. Um, I said, I went to her the other week and I was like, I think I need filler under my eye. I just feel like I look so tired all the time. And she was like, no, Bree. No. She was like, you don't. She was like, you don't. She's like, if I put yeah. filler under your eye, you're going to look just too much. It's going to yeah. be too puffy. So... If you guys think I look puffy, it's either the filters I use like on Instagram crying. or crying. That's what I was going to say. Or Except crying. Because like I have yeah. been crying so much not over the past me, years. Not because of me, I promise. It's not because of me. <laughs> no, not because of you. <laughs> but I've been crying so much over the past years, I swear. I feel like sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, No, your eyes get like really red. I do get really puffy. Yeah. Oh, well, you saw me when I was really stressed. Uh, those three or four days, we were like in the thick of it. And you looked like you were like just like my like eyes that, were eyes so like bloodshot. Were, oh my god! I don't even. Crazy. I was so stressed it was that. Insane. Yeah, my eyes literally were bloodshot for days. It was really weird. For like but three days straight. Yeah, yeah, I honestly don't have filler under my eyes, and I tried to think. I I thought I had. I thought I needed some, and my and my doctor friends said no. no. I told you no too. And you said no, no too. <laughs> Why did your ex husband sell the com sell quotation fingers the company for zero dollars? Was he part of the scam? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to be completely honest and truthful with you guys. So, um, he did sell sell the business for zero dollars, but to go in a little bit more involved into what I, the video I just put out, because I could not cram two years worth of information into that video, um, to kind of go a little bit more in depth. So basically, when he sold the company, it was to himself and these other guys so he formed a company with a couple other guys that were friends of his not friends but friends with his friends of his and he um so basically he bought premier look with his new company so he bought and sold all in one and as the judge said in the family law like, that's so a no no the judge finally <laughs> when we got into trial for the family law which is where i won the entire company back that was one of the things the judge said was the judge looked at that and was like that's a big no-no. No. No, no. You can't so form a company, be a part of that company, and then sell the business to yourself. So that was that, and I will leave it at that. <laughs> what breed is your new puppy? Uh, she's a little multi poo. She's, she's four multi -poo. months old. She's crazy. And she's crazy, but the cutest thing I ever. I would show you all. You can't really see, probably, but I have cuts and scrapes <laughs> everywhere from her just biting me like I'm a chew toy. So. Yeah, she's going through her adorable. teething phase, yeah. so she bites a lot <laughs> okay this is actually a good one it's a okay. good question because i've asked myself this question as well okay how did you survive the last two years w with zero income i'm a student and it's hard enough mm. so she wants to know how you lost the two years with no income okay so basically thankfully i had money in the bank from brian and i selling our georgia house when we sold that house we each split the what's that called profits Pro, well profits but like equity in the house or yeah, it's equity, equity yeah. in the house mm -hmm. um so we both split that so that's what i had in the bank and that's how i pretty much survived over the past two years and thankfully he was here and helped out with a lot of stuff because my kids eat a lot of food they're they they're like i forget how boys. it is to be a 12 year old a 13 year old boy yeah they're you growing boys and they eat everything so my really? grocery bills are insane insane um thousand dollars a week you know? uh, yeah like literally <laughs> we spent a lot in groceries so much money so thankfully he's i didn't know what here. i was walking into no just kidding <laughs> but he's been here to help me out um but yeah so honestly if it wasn't for me having that money in the bank from the sale of my georgia house i would have been and if i wouldn't have met you i would literally be in a cardboard box with my kids to be honest like it was to that point um yeah do you think oxygenetics makeup is worth it oh it's my one of my favorite makeup foundations of all time that's why i carry it on skin truth now um so basically a lot of makeup that you buy at like you know department stores or sephora foundations just basically shut off any oxygen to your skin they just clog up your pores and suffocate your skin basically honestly so if you wear you know foundation and makeup all the time 
I have found that not wearing makeup and not wearing foundation actually makes your skin better because you're just, you're letting your skin breathe. So with Oxygen X foundation, it's a foundation that has properties in it that does not suffocate your skin. Your skin can breathe even through this foundation and it is bomb. It's honestly, like I always say to you guys, you cannot sleep in your makeup at all. But Oxygen X foundation is actually a foundation that technically you could sleep in and it's not going to harm your skin. So I am 100% in love with that foundation. It is so good, especially even if you have like rosacea, acne prone skin, acne scars, um, anything that you're trying to cover up. It is like a full coverage foundation. If you actually apply that foundation with your hands and kind of apply it like a moisturizer, it covers everything. So I love that foundation. It is in my top three foundations of all time and it is bomb. I love the company. The company is like a small business company. They are amazing and I love, love, love Oxygen X. How is co-parenting going after divorce? <laughs> that is something I'm still trying to work out myself. Co-parenting, co I think at any time is super, super hard and to be honest, I don't even, I don't have good advice for that because I'm still learning to figure that out myself. And I think, um, one of my biggest challenges with co-parenting is the fact that my ex and I had such different parenting skills to begin with. We just parented very differently, even while together that co-parenting just even like makes that even harder because he does things one way and I do things another and he calls me overprotective and I just I love my kids you're, <laughs> so you're just a good mom yeah so it's just it makes things very difficult and so I can 100% like feel for anybody who's new to dealing with the co-parenting thing because it is tough it is very very tough and I think a lot of people a reason that they get divorced and they have kids is because they don't parent the same and I think when you don't parent the same way as your spouse or your significant other I think that brings in so much um to your relationship. I think it brings in a lot of like, just, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Like if, you, if you're not on the same page as the other person, it's a huge, it battle. divides you so yeah. much. So co-parenting, I feel like can like exaggerate that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it amplifies it. It amplifies it, yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm actually still kind of learning how to deal with co-parenting myself. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. That's a tough one. Okay, here's a good one. Okay. Can you recommend a good neck cream? I'm trying to hold off on surgery. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I would can suggest... Neo Cutis. Oh, yeah, the firm. The the, that yeah, is my the favorite. So it. I will suggest bringing <laughs> all your products that you use on your face down your neck. So I bring my growth factors. I bring my vitamin C. I bring my vitamin A every day on my neck. But then the Neo Cutis, um, the firm neck and decollete is the best it literally tightens up your neck it takes away wrinkles and it is amazing like i am obsessed with that neck product so that's my favorite for sure how did you meet your boyfriend you guys are so cute together oh mm. so we met at the gym <laughs> we met at the gym he picked me up at the gym yeah i didn't well, physically pick her up at the gym <laughs> i was doing weights and stuff and then... no we actually met through like a mutual person that we were friends with at the gym and then we realized we go to the same gym and kind of started talking at the gym. And I've been checking her out for like a year. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. No, you didn't even know who I was. I but knew who you were. we finally met and um, connected through friends at the gym. So, mm -hmm. and our love of fitness and working out. Mm -hmm. Your love is a lot stronger than my love. Of <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> Follow her on her Instagram. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Would you ever consider eyelid surgery if you felt you needed it? How would you find the surgeon? Oh. Yes, I 100% would do that. Would. You would not want me to do that because he doesn't want me to do anything. But eyelid surgery, I would totally do. Like when you pick up your eyelids a little I'm bit. Do that though. So actually, a couple of my friends just did that surgery and um, it looks really good. Maybe it, it happens. I've actually noticed that I'm 41 now. I've noticed that my eyelids are dropping a little bit. I've noticed that. No. Maybe I've noticed that. You're so picky on yourself, I swear to God. I, you can tell it because sometimes I like can feel that they're like, like heavier on me. I'm like, oh my God, pick that shit up. <laughs> no, I would 100% do it. Um, when the time is right for me, I will do it. I, like I said, I literally just had friends that did the eye love surgery and they had, I mean, hardly any downtime at all. You're swollen, you're bruised for like a week or so, but I've seen the results and they're like, yeah, it, didn't, it wasn't painful. It wasn't bad. And um, 
yeah, definitely. If you, I would say go for it if that's something you want to do. And how to find a surgeon, I would say just kind of do your research. I would say go in and do consultations, talk to the doctor, see before and afters, and just really like get a feel for the doctor. I would say talking to them is the best thing. So talk to multiple doctors, go in, have consultations, and just see how you connect. And you can get a feel for, you know, if they really know what they're talking about or not. And referrals are always a good idea, too. If yeah. you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that's done procedures, mm -hmm. best way. Absolutely. For sure. Yep. Yeah. Best foundation. Best foundation. So that's a tough one because I'm just telling you how I love Oxygenetics. That one, Oxygenetics and the good old Osmosis Satin Foundation. So I don't wear a foundation um, that much, honestly. Like I told you guys, I wear my SPF and then Osmosis Powder on top. But when I do wear a foundation, it is always, always Osmosis Satin Foundation, which is the best foundation for covering up anything. And it literally looks like skin and lasts, oh my God, it lasts like 24 hours. You could wear that all day long. That one and Oxygenetics. So those are my two favorite foundations. So Osmosis Satin. Satin Foundation and, and Oxygenetics. The best Perfect. foundations. Are you staying in California or moving back to Georgia? <laughs> so. I have an answer to that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm staying in California right now. Um, so my business offices and warehouse is in Georgia. And it was really funny because we were just there um, when I was just getting everything organized and getting ready to, you know, launch my new site. We were there. So he was like in the office with me. We were getting everything done. And the night before we left and had to go home, that night before we left, I was like literally in my office, l like literally crying, crying. <laughs> like crying. And he was like, what's wrong like baby what's going what's wrong everything's you know going good and so good what are you crying about and i was like i don't want to leave <laughs> I, swear. I, I i'm just i have such like an attachment to my office and my employees that i love and it's like my second home and um I built it from scratch, so I just, I love, I love being there. I love, like, taking random phone calls from customers. Yeah, I love so being, like, in everything. And, and even, like, and even though, no, my uh, my one employee, Kenneth, was like, no, we don't we don't want Brianna here every day. Because <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm so, like, I don't hands know. hands on. I'm a very, very yeah, hands on. on. He's like, no, we don't need her out here every it day. Was, here we go. This is a fun one. Okay. You'll like this one. Okay. Okay. How can we be a badass while looking good? <laughs> Crying and punching walls at all. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to say I feel bad for Brandon because he saw me at my little, literally the worst. Um, and he's still here, so that's saying something. <laughs> he, he has seen me cry insanely. No, break down. Break down. There's a difference between like crying and then like having a full on like nervous meltdown. breakdown. Yeah, yeah. Like meltdown. Yeah. Like, he has seen I, me. And I understand. Um, I mean the attachment you have to your company. I can see now to your mm -hmm. your 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 customers and your people, your friends, your fans, like everybody. Yeah. Like I can see it. So like it's understandable. The holes in the wall. I didn't punch I didn't really actually physically punch the hole. I op I opened the no, door you so the door hard. Once so hard it made a hole and the other <laughs> one you pushed it so hard and you were punching the door. And both times I was on the phone with my lawyer. <laughs> yeah. And the other time you went outside and you screamed at the top of your lungs in our backyard, which where there's plenty of neighbors around us. They probably think we're crazy. But <laughs> screamed at the top of the lungs. Beep beep beep. I can't even say it. this is a PG channel as she reminded me last time. Just every swear word in the book you could possibly say because she was so mad because we had gotten to a place where we were about to win again and then we lost. Yeah. It's, that's happened so many and times. And it's funny and it's down. funny because I've actually a lot of uh, actually a few people um, have commented on my last video where I did my update and, and it's really shocking and there was this one comment that will stick in my mind because she actually said she's going through something similar and somebody kind of stole her business and her having to fight for her business back she said the same thing that we have said for years now she said the criminals have more, more rights than yep. you do yep. and that is what is insane about our system it's like the legal, is system, nine -tenths of law. It, the legal they system. The legal system is so backwards. So they can we have. Get it. Yeah, they can have your, your hand. Their hand. Criminals can have their hands on something that and is yours. And you have to prove that they're wrong. And then it takes forever. That's the insane part about it. It's like literally yeah. us having to prove that these people did this illegally. 
was insane. It was so hard to do too because you have to really. The criminals all the have the, the like, right, and yeah. that is what I've come to learn, and I am shocked by that because I have n- I, I've never been in the legal system ever in my life before. I've never been sued before. I've never gone through any of this. I've never been served so many times in my life. Um, but the criminals have funny. like the upper hand, and it's shocking. It's crazy, and then it takes so much time for you for the the, the good. To yeah. come out on top, yeah. To prove someone's like wrong takes way more for them to just hold on to it and not have to prove that they're right. Yeah. It's crazy. It's insane. It's so, crazy what the right person has to do to prove themselves. All right. Okay. Next. How are your children doing through this ordeal? My kids are doing amazing. So that is the one thing I always worry about with getting a divorce is um, like how that would affect my kids. But... I will say that I feel like my kids are healthier and better now. Seeing a positive, loving relationship um, versus seeing a more toxic relationship. And it took me a long time to realize that. And I'm sure so many of you have gone through that or are going through that. And I stayed in my previous relationship for my kids because I thought that that was the best thing. And... It's crazy because I feel like my kids are way different now and happier now that they are not stuck in a seeing a toxic relationship. Um, that That's a huge difference. And it took me a while to figure that out. And I think a lot of moms and wives, we do that where you could be in a bad relationship, but you stay for the kids. And to be honest, um, everyone's relationship is different. Everyone's. Marriage is different, but for me, um, my kids are definitely way happier and just way, I don't know, there's like a less like tense feeling with them um, they're since com- they're comfortable. They're comfortable. Yeah, yeah feel it. for sure. So I would say um, my kids are doing amazing. They're, they're the most, amazing kids. They're the most loved, most loved kids and they're doing great. Yeah. If you can't, if you can't buy all the osmosis and truth treatment supplements, which are the top to buy? Mm. So out of truth and osmosis, what would be the best if you can't afford them all? Okay, so supplements are super, super important. Like I said, um, topical skincare is amazing. What you do internally is a must as well. So supplements play a big role in how your skin looks. I would say my top supplements are the osmosis regenerate, which is the liver. It's the one I just oh, got the you. Sorry. Ones? Oh, yeah. God. It's the liver and collagen supplement. I am obsessed with that supplement. Literally my hair has grown so much. So I have extensions, but this was like all like damaged, broken hair. And it was like, no joke, like up to here. And my hair, even when I got my hair done, um, the other week, my hairstylist was like, Oh my God, your hair is growing so fast. And I swear it's cause that collagen supplement, it's so good. I've been taking it now too. You just started taking it. Yeah. yeah it smells terrible. Well, it has like beef liver beef extract liver. in it. So you just got to hold your breath and then take it, but it's apparently it's works insane. So, so good. So it's a liver and collagen. So the liver plays such an important part of your skin. It's like, I could go, this could be like a whole video right here, but basically <laughs> you need a healthy liver. You need a healthy internal system for your skin to look its best. So the liver plays a very important role. So that is a liver, liver detox and collagen supplement. hundred percent must, must, must. I'm obsessed. And then I will say the truth treatment, the blemish repair hands down is amazing. So it has everything that your skin needs to be youthful and glowing and it doesn't matter if you have acne prone skin it will make your skin amazing i know for myself personally i do have more oily acne prone skin and if i don't take that supplement i will notice more breakouts and then as soon as i start that supplement again my skin is perfectly clear so that is another must have for me for sure true treatments so blemish interesting yeah what is the best vitamin a product that your company sells osmosis the osmosis ranaldehyde serums are the best. I have used them for years, and they are hands down the best. Like what was it called again? Rip. The osmosis ranaldehydes. Ranaldehydes. Yes, the best. So there comes in three levels. It's the calm, which is the lowest level, correct, which is the medium level, and then renew, which is the highest strength. And they are hands down. They're better, better than Retin A, better than any retinol you will find. They don't make you insanely red or peely or anything. You can use them during the day. You can use them at night. I use them usually twice a day. They are amazing. Oh, I <laughs> love that product. 
I'm very passionate about that product. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from your divorce? <laughs> what did you learn? Okay, I actually learned a lot, actually, from my divorce. So, I would say there's two main things that I learned from my divorce. One is... And this is actually a really good saying that I heard from a couple different people. You don't know who you marry until you divorce them. That is a very good saying because I feel like I learned a lot about the person that I married when divorcing that person because a lot <laughs> came to light over who that person really was. And I would say that that's actually kind of true. Like you learn a lot about that person Absolutely. through yeah. a divorce. You really do. They're either going to be helpful and do the right thing and I don't know I, or or they're going to go the complete opposite way and try to make your life hell you're going to find out a lot about the person through a divorce that's one thing I've learned two I have definitely learned that I am a strong person <laughs> and I have definitely learned that and and the funny thing is I've always known that I was a strong person like I don't let people walk all over me um I'm very like quick to call somebody out even if it's a friend of mine if somebody pisses me off i'm going to tell them you know that about me spider monkey <laughs> i'm just That's very my like for her, spider yeah. monkey <laughs> she i'm goes, just i i just i'm i'm gonna if somebody pisses me off i'm gonna call them out um <laughs> but i really didn't know how strong i was until my divorce and i feel like that is definitely one thing that the divorce has taught me is that you can get through anything like you can fight through anything you just need to be strong and not give up. We'll do a couple more because we're getting, this is like a long video. Is it? <laughs> yeah. A long video. How do you keep from losing hope during difficult times? How do I keep from losing hope during difficult times? Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of what I, what I was saying previously is just being positive. I'm actually a very, very, very positive person. And I always see the positive in even negative situations. So I think throughout any difficult time, you need to see the positive and that is what has kept me strong through a lot of difficult times in my life is I'm just, I'm positive. I see the outcome. I see the, I see the good. I see, you know, no matter how much my life was falling apart, I saw the good in my life at the same time. So I was always, I'm always very thankful about things in my life and I'm just very positive. So I think the way to handle any difficult situation is just always, always, always be positive and find the positive. Where's your hoop? Where's your necklace and hoops from that you always wear? <laughs> so I get this question all the time. So my necklace is the Cartier uh, love necklace. And then my hoops are literally Claire's $5 hoop earrings <laughs> that I buy all the time because they don't li they don't last forever, but they're so cheap. What so about these hoopies? Oh, oh. These, the li these, little, oh. these little hoopies are David Yerman that he just bought me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my second hoopies. But the big hoopies are Claire's $5. <laughs> yeah. Favorite vacation spot. It's so easy. No, that's hard, actually. Really? Yeah, because I, I would say be easy no, no. I was favorite vacation. I would say for adults, us is Cabo, Cabo for sure. Yeah, but yeah, with family, Hawaii. Hawaii was fun. We have the yeah. best time in Hawaii. That the kids fun. love Hawaii because the ocean's really warm. There's no waves, so they can just go swim around, and you know they're not getting plummeted by waves. And I, I grew up there, so I was able to take the kids around and show them where it, just everything cool in Hawaii. Hawaii is so, fun, so fun for kids, yeah, but, but at all time, I would say our favorite is Cabo, Cabo for sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's give a question for okay, we'll do people a, we'll with do wrinkly eyelids. Oh, Best eye cream for wrinkly eyelids. Wrinkly eyelids is SkinCeuticals AGE eye cream, mm. which SkinCeuticals will be back very shortly. SkinTruth.com, SkinCeuticals coming. Coming soon. Yes. Cannot wait. I All love right. skin suitables. Will you be offering afterpay on skin? Yes, afterpay is coming. Yes. Um, so afterpay is like a little bit of a process. So they need to see a sales history before they, you know, kind of like approve you. Approve you on their yeah. on the site. So we just We've have to show a little bit of a sales history, and then afterpay will be on skin. It's trip. been a daily endeavor with yes. them to get them. Trust me, it's, you guys. It's want a little it, bit so. of an annoying process, but yep. that's just the way they are. Yeah. Couple, okay. Couple more. We'll do. Let's we'll yep. do two more. Okay. Two Be more. Two best more guys. eye cream for women over forty. Best eye cream for women over 40, I would say Neocutis Lumiere Firm is their new eye cream and it is so, so good. That Neocutis, I really love. Oh, that's so hard. That's like picking a favorite kid. It's really hard. Neocutis, <laughs> I really love. Skin Medica, the Instant Bright Eye Cream, I really, really love. And then SkinCeuticals AGE Eye. So there's always like a different eye cream for different specific needs. Those three are my absolute favorites. Two quick comments and then we'll go for the last question. Okay. okay. 
So two comments. These are cute. Yeah. Okay. So one of them is, we can see your glow is back again. We love you. Oh, yeah, that's cute. cute. Yeah. And then we have one that says, just want to let you know your determination and fight back. To fight back. To fight back is, is inspiring. Oh, that's, that's cute as well. I know. That's so cute. And then okay. we'll go, what? so I'll go uh, your lip one. lift. Oh, uh, yeah. How was your scar, scar from your lip lift? My lip lift. So I had the lip lift a year uh, was that November? Oh, so it's been like it's been like a year and a couple of months since I had that done, and my scar is so invisible at this time. And one, it's due to the surgeon that I went to. She was amazing, and she's a friend of mine, and she does so so good. If you guys watch that video, um, she's in LA, and she's linked in that video. But she's amazing. So it definitely, you know, the surgeon that you go to makes a difference. But then also, I use the Skin Medica. The, um, oh God, what is it called exactly? I think it's called the Scar Recovery Gel. That stuff is amazing. I would use that Skin Medica Scar Gel every single night and every single day, and it minimizes the scar so, so much. So, surgeon makes a difference, and then what you use, um, definitely as you heal makes a difference. So, yeah. That's it. I'm done. All right. Yep. That's oh, that's all we have time for because we're literally at like 40 minutes right now. So. Minutes? Yep. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I love you all so much. I'm gonna get back to skincare, makeup, beauty videos now. But I thought this would be a little fun kind of reintro into YouTube. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with for hanging out with us. <laughs> Just want to do the pie. Uh, love Have you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Do it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>